Um, so I think this is a pretty good segue to our next speaker, um, who will try to explain to us, well, how quickly could we build an, uh, an SMR in Estonia? Um, let's see what he has to say. Uh, Klaus Andersson uh, from Vattenfall. I hope that you're on the line with us. Yes, I think so. Welcome, Klaus. Uh, we can see you, yes. we can hear you. You can see me and hear me, I yes. understand. Yes, uh, thank you for the introduction, Maria. I will uh, also thank you for the opportunity to participate in this conference. Uh, my presentation will summarize the study on constructability. The study was carried out last year uh, and it's based on open sources and information provided by GE Hitachi. Uh, a working session with experts from GE Hitachi has also been an important part of the study. Uh, the study has also been reviewed by experts uh, from Vattenfall. And uh, the presentation will cover the following topics. Uh, first, a description of why SMRs have the potential to contribute to a nuclear new build, uh, and how well a deployable SMR will up, live up to these expectations has been investigated by reviewing the Hitachi's BWR X300. Uh, the results uh, from the design assessment will be presented and a likely project in Estonia has also been assessed and an estimated timeline will be presented. Uh, the conclusions will be summed up in the end of the presentation. So, start with some basics. Uh, as you all know, new nuclear is expensive and needs to be cheaper in order to attract investors. Assessments of poor and expensive nuclear projects show that the investment cost is uh, determined by indirect costs and interest. So a predictable and fast construction is therefore crucial to make new nuclear affordable. Uh, and uh, this can be reached by implementing identified key drivers and lessons learned. Uh, it is common sense that the low cost project can be reached by simplification and standardization of the design. In addition, project risks must also be managed in an efficient way. Uh, building light water SMRs is the response from the nuclear industry and uh, might reach even lower cost levels. Uh, the smaller size and the use of passive safety system has the potential to make them very simple. And uh, the smaller size will also reduce the project risks. Also, uh, pushing standardization to the next level, as we heard this morning, will definitely mitigate both licensing and construction risks. Uh, one central idea is to build the smaller nuclear units in a modular manner and uh, this will lead to a shift from on-site construction to off-site manufacturing. Uh, an important assumption is that modular construction of SMRs will be cheaper than larger plants. So in other words, uh, the economy of scale will be handed over from the size of each unit to the number of units. So how well does a deployable SMR live up to the expectations on a short construction time? Uh, how fast can it be built? Uh, this slide shows some uh, basic facts about GE Hitachi's design, the uh, X300. Uh, and this is the design we have used as a basis for our assessment. Uh, the design is in many respects a small boiling water reactor. Uh, and the design leverages uh, GE Hitachi's earlier reactors. The technology is proven and has a simple process. Uh, the plant volume has been limited. Uh, the reactor has natural circulation and the heat removal after an event is passive. It is demonstrated to be cheap when compared with other designs. Uh, the current status is that there are ongoing licensing activities in the US in Canada and in UK. Uh, licensing discussions have also started in Poland. Uh, 
and uh, the first unit is planned to be in operation in 2028. So uh, this slide then presents how well the X300 meets the expectations on a simple and standardized plant design. Uh, to start with, the X300 uses very simple process systems and natural circulation. The design also shows a drastic reduction in plant layout compared with a large uh, nuclear power plant design. Uh, the X300 shows a high degree of standardization, both on plant and equipment level. Uh, the reactor is in many respects a small BWR that uses standard BWR fuel. Uh, the reactor and its safety related items will be manufactured and integrated in accordance with proven nuclear standards. Also, the manufacturing and integration will be made by an established global supply chain. Uh, the smaller size enables that many of the shelf components can be used for the non-nuclear safety applications. Uh, finally, the turbine island is standardized and will be integrated by a proven supplier. So when it comes to modularization, uh, the BWR technology is modular in its fundamental design. I think that's important to reflect. Uh, it integrates the major components of the reactor coolant system. Uh, the previous GE Hitachi designs <clears throat> will set up the basis for the modularization of the X300. And that strategy is that modularity will be introduced to an extent that is economically viable. Uh, and this includes the construction of the reactor building using steel bricks, as you can see in the figure. Uh, the first of a kind unit and some numbers after that unit are likely to be stick built on the site to a greater extent than the later and more mature units. And there will not be any dedicated module factories unless a large number of X300s are on simultaneous order in the region. And uh, design completion. Uh, a completed design is key to avoid delays in a construction project. Uh, GE Hitachi claims that drawings and specifications uh, will be completed before a likely project in Estonia. The safety assessments report uh, prepared for the first of a kind unit will also give a good basis for the licensing in Estonia. Uh, then we assessed the project implementation. So this slide will uh, show the main components of an SMR project. The actual project in Estonia can start when the government has decided to launch a nuclear program. Uh, the activities to enable a fast construction and to mitigate risks for delays are made during the project development. First of all, the project specific design will be finalized, and this means that GE Hitachi will adopt the reference design with regards to seismic conditions, to the cooling capabilities, to the power grid and to the industrial environment. The business case will be developed based on more and more detailed cost estimations from the design process. And uh, last but not least, the contract will develop. Uh, and site work, uh, early investments in the site infrastructure will gain time, time savings for the construction work. Uh, when a site is selected, it will be prepared for the construction project and take into account transportations, temporary offices and excavations for the reactor building. The actual construction can start when the construction license is obtained and the final investment decision is made. Uh, it is also anticipated that a smaller construction project will be better prepared to deal with risks for delays, uh, since it's simple. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's simply not so sensitive to project issues as a huge nuclear power plant construction. Uh, a few long lead items will need to be procured before the start of construction, and. Uh, uh, the licensing activities are running in parallel and will consist of 
applications and regulatory reviews in three phases. So uh, this slide uh, gives a hint of the timeline for project implementation in Estonia. The development of the project will take four years. After that, the uh, final investment decision can be taken and a contract can be signed. The site investigations will start early. Uh, the procurement of long lead items need to start three years prior to construction. The reason for this is the time consuming manufacturing of reactor pressure vessel. Uh, the construction work at site can start when the construction license is obtained. Uh, the actual construction work for, will take three years for the first unit and the unit following after the first unit will take two years to build. <clears throat> so, um, and the pre-construction work for these following units will be limited by procurement of long lead items and take three years. So the total project schedule will be seven years for the first unit and five years for the following units. I will Summarize, summarize this presentation uh, and start to say that uh, the X300 will be constructed at site, not manufactured in factories. Uh, this might, might not be in line with the common view of an SMR, but the simplified <clears throat> and standardized design will lead to shorter and more predictable construction. So, it might still be said that the deployment of multiple units will be made in a modular manner. Uh, GE Hitachi claims a three year construction time for the first unit and a two years construction time for the following units. The pre-construction activities are very important and mostly associated with the first unit of a project. Uh, the planning and preparations are estimated to take four years uh, the total project time for the first uh, unit will therefore be seven years. And the total project time for the following units at the same site will be uh, five years. So in summary, uh, light water SMRs can be deployed in the near future. And uh, Vattenfall's overall assessment is that the X300 definitely enables a way to build an SMR in Estonia quickly. Uh, the X300 design represents a balance between innovation and tradition. Uh, the licensing process will be in favor of the proven technology and the construction will be in favor of GE Hitachi's know-how and experience. Uh, and this is an art impression of uh, how an X300 site could look like. Uh, yeah, thank you. This was my 15 minutes of fame. I will now hand over to you, Maria. Thank you very much, Klaus. Uh, a very well spent 15 minutes of fame, if I may say so. Um, yeah. So a lot of people are skeptical when it comes to the, the fast construction times. Um, mm -hmm. And what they want to see is evidence. So how would you, how would you comment on that? Is there any evidence that these yeah, it really uh, can be built as fast. Yeah, it's a good question since uh, uh, it, no SMRs have been built yet. So, so, but I think the best evidence is that it took uh, the Hitachi 44 months to build uh, their much, much bigger first of a kind AW, uh, ABWR in Japan. So to build a much smaller and much simpler plant in 36 months should definitely be possible. I think that's the strongest evidence, except for the design simplifications. Well, that's, that's good to know. Um, I also wonder, does the previous experience uh, in a country um, mm -hmm. have, an, have an impact on the construction schedule? The previous experience in in uh, yeah of course it will uh, it's it's uh, I I heard a lot of echo when you you, you ask the question in my headphones. Would you would you like me to repeat that? Yeah, yeah. that would, would be great. Sure. Uh, the question is: Would the yeah. uh, previous experience 
of a mm. nation uh, impact the construction schedule of an SMR? Yes, of course, because uh, uh, the, this light water SMR is just a, a scale model of, of uh, previous designs. So uh, implementing all, all the, the lessons learned from a big project with all the risks that you're exposed to, it's uh, definitely a good lessons learned. And I, I think also a way to, to front load this risk and to, to take it into consideration is to let workers, for example, be trained in actual projects before before you, you implement the project in your own country. So, so you have a trained uh, workforce. Uh, it's, it's interesting that you mention uh, lessons learned, which we know is a, is a politically correct way of saying mistakes made. And obviously we want to learn from, from the mistakes made by, by others um, mm. and we want to learn from, from their lessons. So what would yes. you say are, are the most critical factors um, of, uh, for Estonia to, to, that would support a fast construction? Yeah, okay. I think the first big factor is, uh, of course, the project planning, the pre-construction work. Uh, and uh, then also, I think G. Hitachi's uh, strong simplification of the design is a winning concept to reach quick construction. But if you the, look at the bigger picture, I think the most um, impacting factor is this standardization of codes and standards and the re regulatory requirements that we discussed uh, this, uh, this uh, morning. I think uh, a global <laughs> standardization will reduce the risks for, uh, or that will support the construction time the most. Thank you very much, Klaus. Yeah. Uh,